Yeah, you should be able to hear me. I unhooked my computer and rearranged my computer room, so that was probably the issue. It didn't like having everything turned. I had to reopen all my programs. Oh. I was watching someone else play. Uh-huh. You can. Okay, so it doesn't show you the unknown geysers. Darn. I was watching someone else play last night after I got off, and they were able to see. <laughs> yeah. I know the feeling. Every time I, I, I open up a stream, there's something messed up and I gotta fix it. Especially since I unhooked everything and had to rehook everything back up. Yeah, I watched a few of your uh, past streams the other day after you uh, raided me. I like watching other people play the same games I'm playing because it gives me a ideals of what to do. I think, yeah, that's right. We got the... Uh, what was it? Natural gas geyser. I'm gonna work my way over there. I got my mic and monitors all in different positions, so everything's a little wonky tonight. Another thing I did see from another person I was watching on YouTube, when they do... Yeah, yeah, I, I knew that, but if... I was looking to see what uh, geysers were available. And I guess the only ones I have known right now are the full steam vent, the saltwater, the two volcanoes, and the national natural geyser. The only two I actually know about is the volcano and the natural gas. So I need to look look around some more because I know there's a volcano right here. And if I understand that correctly. It shouldn't show up on that list unless I've discovered it, so. Could be wrong, though. But this is what I'm going to work on today. I want to try to get power. We need to research. I'm gonna go ahead and do plastic manufacturing. I don't need that one, do I? I guess I do. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start working my way to unlocking power. Okay, you are a supplier. You're a digger. I'm gonna go ahead and give them their hard hat so I know which one they are. I got two, two builders, huh? Nice. And the digger here, all the way up. This is the new one. And then you're the cook. So I need more for I like operating and carrying and tidying. I think I'm gonna make this guy my tidier. No, I don't. I do not have a doc doctor yet. I'm gonna set up a med room and a doctor this stream also.
Try to get some airflow tiles so I can keep the base decent. <laughs> yes, yeah, water digging it out and just flooding the whole base and then getting polluted water. Oh yeah, you're talking about like just straight up digging it out without having ladders set up. I did I haven't done that any of the past streams yet, but I'm very surprised I didn't. We are a little bit of farming doing this, but I want to put some airflow tiles. The last base I had, the farms filled up with a bunch of CO2 because... I had no way of getting rid of the, the air out of it. Oh, my last base, I think I ended up killing like 18 of them before I eventually just called it quits on it and made a new one because it was at a point where it was just... They were going to die. There was no... No way around it. We got batteries, we got to cook. Food's a little low, but... Kill these hatches and I can... With the barbecue. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Super, the super digging does come in handy. Yeah, that's a volcano there. That's the natural gas. Surprised I haven't found an actual cold biome yet. I want to dig up here and go through this abyssalite and see what's this way. I don't want to touch the uh, volcano yet. I think I might turn on auto harvest on all this natural growth out here. If you, uh, Go to your priority, whenever you find one, you can make it a top priority. And then a yellow alert will show you what it is, like a minor volcano. A little cheesy, but that way you don't have to dig it up. Got that from uh, Snid Bob the other day, a little tip. Like this one over here, and uh, you can always tell that there's something there by the uh, petroleum because you can't or you can't mine this or anything. It's just it's what the geysers are. They spawn on them. All right, this oxygen still polluted. Mm, yeah. I don't think it's not going to be polluted though because there's so much polluted dirt in there. I think what I'm going to do. Try to dig this down. Yeah, there's so much in this game. I'm going to try to drain these two pits in together. From I haven't actually done it yet, but from what I've seen, you would, um, 
like the clean water so like let's say you would have chlorine gas you would fill a room up with it over pressurize it in chlorine gas and then put you some liquid reservoirs in there and have it flow through on a loop and put up a germ sensor at the end of it so like if it has germs it won't let it flow through and then the chlorine will eventually get rid of the germs how's it going bob spent the day uh playing the computer room and rearranging some stuff and I'm gonna slowly work on getting power set up. I still gotta get research done for it though. Oh, and another thing I seen uh, last night, I was watching some more YouTube videos. A lot of people for their storage, if they use the storage bins and not like the infinite storage um, little hack you can do where you just make a pit and everything, put everything in there. They just do two tall rooms for storage to make it more compact and save space. That might be something I do. And I'm going to put a couple of these on sweep only. That way, whenever I'm mining all this out, and I sweep it. They don't try storing it down here. They'll put it in the ones I have designated for sweep only. I think that's how you're supposed to do it anyway. I wonder what my monitors look different. I didn't have everything set up the way I wanted it. Working on getting, well, we got hydro, we got natural gas, so that's all I cared about. Only thing is, is cooling. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cool this. I've not found a single cold biome yet. Yeah, like the liquid storage tanks, it's just a uh, research. Oh, where's that? Right here, yeah, improved plumbing. Got to have advanced research for it. I think after I do this, <laughs> hey, all the help I've been getting, I, I figured might as well, right? I think I'm gonna do HVAC next for gas reservoir because. I, I don't know exactly is it a liquid that comes out of the natural gas geyser or a, a gas I would you would think it'd be a gas but it's a game so uh, destructive don't want you might go for the pip squeak Uh, I need some more people supplying. I think I'm gonna put him as a another carrier. Not entirely too sure. Uh so I got pulled. Keep a track of time. I'll end up missing the raid tonight. Makes people mad. <laughs> Don't know. I can't remember. I, I did get. Okay, so bubbles can rant, wrangle, so. I 
He's already wrangling that one. Oh, okay. Nice. I need to drain that into my fresh water. I'm gonna do a bunch of cleaning up at the moment, and then I wanna. Okay, yeah. I was thinking I didn't have any actual water I was using. It's over here. Oh, the fire pole, those slide down just to speed up the commutes, I think. Takes a lot of metal though. But like if you're digging way down, it does make it faster because they can just slide down the pole where you're going. Alright. Research is almost done. They're slowly getting everything tidied up and... I didn't think about having a different, using a different material to get faster speed. <laughs> Alright, so there is... Advanced comb Combustion. I think that's part of the DLC because I don't remember doing that on the. Yeah, it is part of the DLC. It says it on there. Because I don't remember doing that last playthrough. We'll do plastic, which actually I don't need plastic at the moment. <laughs> yeah. The soda can planet. We could have made so many fire poles. There was so much metal. Yeah. I'll leave that shine bug alone. It's in the mess hall. This is that same power slug that was in here. It crawled its way into here and then I walled it in. Yeah, that planet was... Uh, it would have been nice, you know, mid-game, but... It was not good for a early game, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I know um, I had the same issue. I had a de destructive uh, dupe on the last playthrough, and it got mad and broke a block one of the guys is standing on. Luckily, they fell to another ladder, but I could see that being an issue. Insufficient oxygen. That's because I'm exploring up here i should put it like an airlock door just yeah that they did Go explore some more. Like I was telling uh, Tommy Vid earlier, if you look right here, it tells us on here that we have the natural gas, the volcano, a minor volcano, a saltwater, coal steam vent, oil reservoir, and 13 more unknown. So I want to go find some more.
<laughs> I'm trying to, I mean, stress is staying decent here. Food's getting kind of low. I should probably... hold off on any more dupes for sure and maybe expand the farm at least the here once that water's gone I can always go farther with it Taking a quick ad break. Ooh. Oh, yeah, they're destructive and they've str they and they're stressed out. They'll delete anything. It's like in a realm world, whenever you have a pawn go um, have a mental break breakdown. Um, full on polluted dirt too, so I think I'm going to... Put in two more storage. And then I think I need to set up their uh, schedule some more because I think I got. Yep. So I'm going to move you to three, move you to three. One, two, th move you to three. I don't know how I ended up with four there. So we got four on one, two, on, three on one, three on three. Dang, we got nine dupes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was making messes because I didn't. Yeah, we're going food real fast because. I expanded on my dupes too fast, I think. Yeah, I need to look into it. I didn't realize I had them. I didn't change the uh, schedule up on some of them, so that I had too many trying to use the restroom at the same time. And they didn't. Empty out the uh, outhouses fast enough. I didn't realize there was a little pool of water right here. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that right there. Oh, that's sand. I'm going to have to, though. Actually, I don't. I can just do this. Then when that water's gone, I'll I'll move it over. Oh, you. Get them out of there before they drown. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Got a breath of fresh air or polluted air for just a minute and then back down the drink. They went. Oh, let's take that off of. Uh...
Yeah. I need to start doing that. Can you do it down like that too, though? Alright, well, anyway. That dupe didn't drown, so that's a plus. Oh, sweet. I didn't know if you could do it down or not. I'll have to start doing that, especially if we're exploring. That way, like you said, helps with the supplying. I'll have to move my uh, polluted water bottler down here. Just trying to open up more space. I can wall off this uh, water. Try to get that polluted uh, oxygen taken care of. For the most part, I think I can just release it to the base and set up some deodorizers. All right, so there's our transformers. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's a liquid log. Pretty much it keeps this polluted oxygen from flowing into the rest of my base until I, I get some deodorizers in there to separate out. You can... It, you can use an airlock, but every time they open the door, it lets a little bit escape into the other room. From what I've seen from other players, the liquid locks is the way to go. So you do the same thing for a chlorine room or anything like that. Yeah, that, that's true too. I mean, they are getting a soggy feet debuff every time they go down. Uh, yeah, I elevated the doors, that little lip, in case, like, earlier, uh, the outhouses were full. And they um, made a mess in the uh, mess hall. So they caught the water and kept it from flowing down. Like, either, you know, let's say uh, it could have flew flowed down and got into my uh, clean water and polluted it. Pretty much, a, it's a pea flood wall. I don't think I'm gonna take this dupe until I get more food on the way. <laughs> I took it from him, he was telling me about it. A little lift there to catch water. Oh, this guy's a. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take the uh, air package for now. I already have nine dupes, that's pushing it for me. I'm, I'm surprised. None's uh got closer to the death than the few I've had. Yeah, this uh little gap suggestion is gonna come in handy now. Obviously, if it's a main part of the base, I'll set up proper floors. But <laughs> hey, go for it. Whatever helps you progress in your playthroughs. Yeah, 
Got enough cards. Right, they're slowly working on power gen room. I kind of want to get this as a pass through to this side so they can go this way and this way to get around. I probably need to come down here and pump some of this chlorine into a room and store the slime in a chlorine pressurized room so to get rid of the slime lung and all that. But another thing I need to work on is proper latrine with showers and toilets. Got three dupes per schedule, so I need to have at least three toilets, three showers, and prefer three sinks. That way, if all three of them have to go at the same time, they can. I think I might move this because I haven't even got to that slug yet instead of making that my ranch area for the slugs. Put them over here at the power room where he's already at. I can make a proper bathroom here with the sieves and all that down here maybe. Oh, working this way. Let's see, breathability is getting a little low. I think that's mainly because they're going into sections where there's no air. I don't think it's actually a generation issue. Okay, so see, I was watching Another playthrough on YouTube last night, someone using the uh, sublination station to convert polluted dirt and to polluted oxygen, and then they're using deodorizers to clean the polluted oxygen. I guess I could technically do that as an oxygen, you know, source if I somewhat run out of... Um, Algae, which I don't think I'm going to anytime. Uh, maybe out of algae. No, no, I'm not out of algae. <laughs> Getting close to being out of algae again. Yeah, well, I was thinking of doing it in a... Um like a closed section, like over here where... On the other side of this water log, you know, build a, a room over here and put in some of these sublimation stations and use polluted dirt and turn it into polluted oxygen and just set up a bunch of deodorizers. And once it's clean, uh, yeah, I don't know. Seems like a lot of work, but we are getting low on algae, but. There's plenty of algae around. About to get a bunch more from over here. Bunch of it from up here. But if I have to, I have the polluted dirt. There's a bunch of it. I can use it to make at least oxygen. It may be polluted, but like you said, deodorizers don't use that much power. Yeah, but see, another thing, you gotta have plenty of sand. So. Sure, you could turn slime into algae, but that's just... Sounds like a bad day to me. All that slime lung. Yeah. I still got plenty of algae I'm digging up, so until I'm almost out and there's none to dig up around, I'll hold off on that ideal.
Yeah. We're tied in. I need to set his priorities to where he's doing nothing but tidying also. Oh, I did add more to do over here. It's closer, so. I think for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna do just a small little Oh, two co plants to refine algae. Uh, after that last playthrough of the co issue, I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to use this as my other point up and down. I'm going to move this <coughs> rock crusher. I got enough. Oh, anyway, yeah, toilets are full again. Made a mess in the. Uh, I need to get the train set up. Need to get proper bathroom set up. So I'm gonna work on right now. <clears throat> they're already at non priority while they're not cleaning them. I don't. I don't understand. Oh, let's get rid. I'm, gonna get rid I'm just going to release that polluted oxygen into the base. I'm just going to about the bullet on it. Alright. I don't really want them touching the ceiling because I want kinda wanna go one lower. Just so I can put like crown molding and stuff like that. So. Work on some decor a little better than the last base. I think that would help out a little bit too. Maybe. <laughs> Trying to keep them from being stressed out and. I'm gonna build some more deodorizers to replace the ones I got rid of. But I think what I'm gonna do there is just kind of do like. Something like that, and just do a bunch of, uh, clean this oxygen, maybe before it goes into the base. Oh. 
Hopefully I have the power gen for all of these at the moment. Then we'll do three showers and then three sinks. I might cancel this top row right here. I mean, I already built that one. I guess that guy is trapped. <laughs> yeah, three or four of them. Luckily, they have somewhere to sleep. I'll take that off yellow alert now. This is something I should have got done earlier. Proper bathroom. And this might get turned into another farm. Just three farms. That's a lot to do for that farmer, but at least it'll give him a bunch to do. And then I need to get a med bay put in and I, I hate to do it, but I may actually redo the storage. I want to go with just two tall storage rooms. That way I can fit like three in the space of two of the ones I'm doing now. He's my tidy and supplier. The farmer is also the rancher at the moment, but I'm going to go with more food because we're getting a little low. Yeah, moving storage is that might be something that I, I do off stream just so I can go queue it up and just let it run for a little bit of them just doing nothing but hiding. Which, I mean, really, this one will probably say the same. I'm just going to move the door down, lower the ceiling, and then move these down one tile. So they're not, they're not going to move very far. But if I move this down one, I should be able to put another row here and have three rows of storage. Now, do I have, I do have a water sieve. That's true too. I haven't even got into conveyors. Thanks for watching. And as a reminder, these videos were recorded live on Twitch. The link will be down in the description. And as always, thanks for your support.